All right, so for red dots, I think standard in, in the industry for a while was 25 yards. Mm -hmm. A red dot, we're gonna zero it at 25 yards. We've moved to a 15 yard zero. Okay, and that's because of the hold over and hold under that you need at given distances. So from zero out to 25, beyond most shooters capabilities, right? Um, we've got very little offset when we zero at 15. That's why we're advocates of it. And then I want to be able to use this thing, right? So I'm zeroing it. It doesn't have to be purpose, but these extra extend magazines serve great to, to kind of sit there, right? So we'll go ahead and see where this is at. I try and get this down to the, the, the most dim it can be and still pick it up on the target. I get behind the gun. I put that dot generally in the center um, of, of that glass. Okay. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not focused on getting it right over the front sight in terms of hovering right above it or uh, kind of co-witness right on top of it. It's generally right in the center of that. I'll hold eyes and ears. Yep. Okay. All right, so just zipping that through just so you get the idea and I'll make my corrections off of that. All right, so most of that deviation is just trigger press for me. So that, that dot is on for me. So I'll go ahead, uh, ahead and have you. Good load, make ready. Same target? Yep. I can use a different target actually. Okay. Yep. So I shoot a volley of five rounds and then I go ahead and check it out. So we'll walk down. I think where a lot of people fail during this is they don't really understand the capabilities of the platform they're shooting. So it's not a rifle, but it's just a pistol. So, um, you know, I'm good. I'm going to call that shooter error. Yeah. I'm going to say that your median impact point, if I were to triangulate all this, is kind of right here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to call you good, man. You're at 15 call, yard shooting nine mil. This one. Yeah, and good. And this one. Felt right. I pulled the trigger. It felt right. I pulled the trigger prematurely, but I was on. Yeah. So Perfect. Yeah. Awesome, man. Good deal. All right. So let's uh, let's do a, a quick holdover drill. All right. So all we're going to do is at differing distances is we're going to shoot a series of a, a five round series. Okay. So I'm going to hold right in his center. Okay. Uh -huh. At three, five, and seven. Okay. And I'm going to see where are my impact points at those distances given that gun given the optic because there is a an offset that we have to account for gotcha. it's not like a rifle red dot but it's a little bit so I'll go ahead and demonstrate all right so I'm OCD and I don't look like it look like like an idiot so for my press check with an optic all right, I try and stay away from smudging that optic with my fingers uh -huh. but I can go ahead and, and and pinch here right without touching the glass it comes back, I see it, and then I make sure it's, it remains in battery. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yes, sir. All right, so a quick five rounds here. Okay, so point of aim, almost point of impact. I'm shooting a, a little bit up, but we'll go ahead and bring it back to five. Hold one. All right, and seven. All right, we'll go ahead and you can do it on that target. Okay. Is it five? Yes, sir. Or three, I'm sorry, three yards. You're at three, yep, you're good there. Yeah. We'll break it up to uh, back to the five. And seven.
good deal. So the point of this drill is what? Offset. You're a smart guy. Yeah, but let's look at the impact. Gotcha. What do we think? In terms of? What's, what's, what am I taking away from this? Well, I, that the offset is negligible. Gotcha, okay, right? okay, So gotcha. if I go, okay. well this is where I was, at. okay. You're a half inch yeah. to an inch, right? <laughs> yeah. So at giving, giving distances, now I'm working towards my zero, so anything that's gonna happen, right? Mm. If shooter's good is I'm gonna come up a little bit. So uh, I do this to go, it's not a rifle, okay? The, the offset is negligible here, all right? So people kind of get into, well, I'm gonna aim a little bit high, just, just aim where you want the bolt to go, okay? <laughs> yeah, because I'm imperfections <laughs> in this mm -hmm. are gonna cause more drastic of a drop than anything else, gotcha. not the optics. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, now we're gonna work some parallax stuff. So you had concerns with, hey, do I, do I puff that red dot, okay? And I'll, I'll go ahead and just have you watch what I do here, all right? And then you can go ahead and perform it. So. Okay parallax free at a given distance okay the fact of the matter is inconsistency in the shooter's ability is going to determine shot placement right or in point of impact more than any type of parallax issue i have with this optic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to aim in again kind of right in here okay all right and i'm going to put that dot in the upper left come into the the top center upper right, and then the, the bottom right, bottom center, and bottom left. Okay. Just working the outside of the window. Gotcha, okay. okay. So now I'm not moving the gun, all right? I'm just putting that with like my head. head so the, the gun stays the same, right? So that's upper left, all right? Now I'm gonna come over here, upper right, Bottom right, and bottom right, and top center, and bottom right. Okay, so if you look at this, and this is me on this, okay, but I've got just minimal fluctuations in shot, and this is probably trigger press, if anything. So, parallel, not, not true parallax free, but certainly I don't need to have that thing right in the center over the front sight in order to get a hit. Does that make sense? So I'll go ahead, ahead and uh, play with that for uh, for six rounds. I I, so I just six work. Rounds? I think I have six rounds. Oh, really good. Uh, yeah, we can do this. We'll do it at uh, three, five, and seven. Okay. So just mess around with it a little bit. Okay. Deal, man. All right, so you can see I think that one in the neck you may have given yeah, the gun rather than anything else, right? So this kind of illustrates the fact that, that 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 thing doesn't have to be perfectly centered in the window. We get people that just don't want to accept a dot off into the the right, left, up, or down uh, kind of quadrant of, of that site. So we can go ahead and do that. All right. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice, and let them know you want to keep America tactical. Because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to get your I will not comply, I lost all of my guns in a boating accident, the AR-15 is protected by the Second Amendment, and your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirts, click the links in the description section of this video.